Hi, hi, welcome to Code.io. This is day 31 of 100 days of code. And the question for today is called Subarray with given sum. The question is quite simple, uh, but the approach is slightly complicated. Okay, so let me just read the question first. We'll then go over the approach and try to program this. So, given an unsorted array A of size n that contains only non negative integers, find a contiguous subarray which adds to give a sum which is number s okay so you are given an array which is unsorted and it has only positive numbers in them and you are supposed to find a subarray in it okay it should be continuous and its sum should be the given value okay so you have to find such a subarray and you are supposed to return the starting and the ending position of that uh, subarray okay so this is the question in case of multiple subarrays, return the subarray which comes first on moving from left to right. Okay. If in case you can, you could find multiple subarrays with the same sum, you are supposed to return the first one you encounter. Okay. The first subarray uh, when you move from left to right. So uh, that basically is the question. Now we'll try to uh, come up with the logic with this sample test case and we'll then we will move on to coding. Right. Okay. So uh, let me just rewrite this array. So one. 2, 3, 7, and 5. Right. Okay. So, we'll just define a couple of variables i and j. Okay. Let's just move on with the convention. So, let i equals j and j equals. Z, sorry let i equal 0 and j equal 0 both of them they are going to start at 0 okay and you are going to uh, find these subarrays right so before moving into the approach uh, let us just see let us just try to find a subarray which could be our uh, possible case right so 2 plus 3 plus 7 would give you 12 because the required sum is 12 okay because i i think i didn't say that yet so the required sum is 12 so you're supposed to find a subarray with that sum okay so 2 plus 3 plus 7 this will give you one possible subarray right and another one could be 7 plus 5 this one okay so these are two possible subarrays uh, with the required sum but you're supposed to take the first one that comes when you move from left to right right so you should be uh, giving this subarray as the output and uh, when you talk about indices it is uh, from uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 right so 1 2 3 right in from index 1 to index 3 uh, but in case of position it would be from 2 to 4 so the output here is 2 to 4 okay so this is the basic question right so how exactly are we going to approach this question? So we have this uh, two pointing variables, right, i and j. So both of them are uh, starting at uh, zero. And I'm going to have another variable called sum. Okay, let this be sum. And let us say the initial value of sum is array of zero, meaning the first element of the array. Okay, so this is the value of sum. Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're going to see if the value of sum is less than the required sum okay so s is the required sum right so you're going to see if the current value of sum is less than s in that case you're going to include one more element in your considered subarray okay so what is our considered subarray our considered subarray is basically the closed set of i comma j meaning that you are including values from i and up until j right in this case we just have one element because both of them are zero both i and j are zero right so we have only one element which is one and the value of uh, sum is one right because we have only one element and we could see that the value of sum is actually less than s meaning that we have to increase the subarray size right we have to include uh, more numbers into the subarray to meet the required sum so what you're going to do is that you are going to increment the value of j okay why are we doing that so i is the initial pointer of the subarray right it is going to represent the starting point of the subarray and j is going to represent the ending point of the subarray so i'm i, I have uh, one included and i'm going to increase it to uh, two 
right because both i and j are pointing at uh, the first index of the array and since i have to include one more element i'm going to move the n pointer to the next element right so uh, in this case we have these two elements right so these two one and two okay so uh, the sum should reflect this right so the value of sum is 3 1 plus 2 gives you 3 right you are going to see again if uh, sum is less than s again it is less than s so what you're going to do is that you are going to increment the value of j again including one more element because we still have to include elements right to meet the required sum so you, you are including uh, first three uh, elements of the array now right so 1 plus 2 uh, is 3 again and uh, we also have another 3 so adding it up it gives you 6 right so the current value of sum is 6 again sum is less than s so you are going to include one more element into the subarray right so j becomes 3 now and the value of sum becomes 13 right we already had 6 and 6 plus 7 gives you 13 so the value of sum is 13 and in this case we know that so uh, if it is less than s you are going to increment the value of j and in this case we know that sum has surpassed the value of s so sum is greater than s right so we are, we are uh, considering elements from um, 0 all the way up to 3 index right so it it has elements 1 to 4 and in this case you could see that the sum value has surpassed the s value that is the required sum right so in this case what you're going to do is that you're going to leave one element from the subarray okay so uh, we have more than what we need so you're going to leave something to see if your uh, required sum is met right so you're going to leave one element which element would you leave you will definitely not leave the one you just acquired right because uh, if you leave the one you just acquired you will just move to the previous case previous step which didn't meet the required sum right so you are going to leave the first one you added to the list okay which would be this one right so you are leaving the first element of the array so the value of i is going to be incremented so it is going to uh, consider a subarray from i to 3 index right so your new subarray would be sorry your new sub subarray would be from 2 to 7 this is going to be your new subarray 2 to 7 right 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 7 gives you 12 okay that is the required sum and in the in this case you can return i plus 1 and j plus 1 right i plus 1 and j plus 1 because we are treating in terms of indexes now and uh, we are required to return the uh, actual positions right so you are going to return i plus 1 and j plus 1 and that gives you the answer so this is the logic it's quite simple you have a couple of pointing variables i and j and both of them are going to start from zero meaning that only one element is considered in this subarray we also have another variable called sum uh, which is the sum of all the elements that are present in the subarray initially it would be array of zero and you're going to check in every state uh, if your current value of sum is less than the required sum or greater than the required sum and if in case it is the same you are going to return your uh, starting and ending positions of the subarray and that would be the answer if it is less than it you are going to include one more element from the right if it is greater than it you are going to leave one element from your left okay so that is the logic it's quite simple now we'll move on to geeks for geeks and try to program this so we are in geeks for geeks now and uh, we are supposed to complete this method called the subarray sum we are given an array uh, the size of the array and the sum as inputs and you're supposed to return a vector as an answer right so as we discussed i'm going to create a couple of variables i and j and uh, both of them are going to be equal to zero initially so i equals zero and j equals zero right and uh, another variable called sum right and the sum is equal to array of zero as we already discussed because initially we are just going to consider a subarray with one single element which would be the first element of your array right so sum and you are going to return a vector as the answer right i mean uh, answer output so i am going to create a vector of uh, integer data type and i am going to just name it answer right this is what you are going to 
return at the end of all the process that you're going to do okay so now we can just move on to the iterative statements uh, where uh, we are going to traverse through this entire array right so the the looping statement is going to be your while loop because uh, we don't exactly know how many iterations are uh, it's it's preferred for while here okay it's it's quite easy to use while here if you want you can use for it's fine uh, but i'm just going to use while so the condition is that j less than n okay why exactly is that so j is our uh, final pointer right so j is the pointer that is going to represent that uh, this is the end of the subarray so j is the end pointer and that should be less than n right because n is the total value of the subarray i mean the total size of the subarray so j should be less than n in order for you to do all these things like if, if it is not it would be out of bounds right so j should be less than n and that is the condition and you're going to see if your current value of sum is equal to s right if your current value of sum is equal to s you can append i plus 1 and j plus 1 to answer and you can return it answer dot push back of i plus 1 answer dot push back of j plus 1 and return answer okay i plus 1 and j plus 1 because we are dealing with indices and we are supposed to return positions and uh, sum equal to s meaning uh, we have uh, reached the required subarray right so that is it now what if sum is less than s okay if sum is less than s you are going to include one more element in your array right so you are going to do j plus plus okay you are increasing one more element you are taking up one element from your right side so j plus plus so the limit of the subarray has increased by one size and you have to include this in your sum right so sum plus equals array of j okay so we have increased increased the value of j so j is now pointing to the uh, next element or the new element that you're going to acquire and you're adding that to your sum value right that is it you can just say continue okay this is all that you're going to do for this iteration and if in case your sum value is greater than yes okay in that case you are leaving one from your left right so i plus plus you do i plus plus but before that you can just subtract that from your sum value okay because uh, when you when you're leaving one element it should be detected from your uh, sum right so sum minus equals array of i and i plus plus and continue okay that is it now uh, this is the while loop and if in case it comes out of this while loop it means that the required subarray has not met like there is no subarray with the possible sum right in that case you are just going to return minus 1 as a single element in that vector so answer dot push back of minus 1 and return answer okay so that is it uh, it's quite simple now we'll try to run this and see if it works so the code is working fine hope you understood this logic if you have any questions put them in the comments the time complexity of this code is order of n and no space has been used for this question. So it is constant space complexity. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you on tomorrow's episode of 100 Days of Code. Bye for now.